Welcome to the FindingYourChurch.com step-by-step video series that will show you four secret strategies that are actually a four-step process that you can follow to increase your church online visibility in your local community. My name again is Jeremy Phillips, and I started FindingYourChurch.com to help churches that are either struggling to get new visitors in the door or who already have strong visitor numbers but want to increase even more and clean up their online information, making it easier for new potential visitors to find their church, and that is definitely the goal. So, in the first video, we looked at the first secret strategy, which involves claiming and optimizing your local business directory listings, like your Google Business and Maps listing, Bing Places, and many more local business directory listings, and some church directory listings. So we mentioned that claiming and optimizing these listings gives Google confidence that your church is open and has a real person or company managing your online information, and as a result, Google has more confidence in you to raise your listings and potentially even your church website in local church related search terms. The second secret strategy actually builds on this because it is related to your Google business page. Once the first strategy is in place, you will have your Google business page claimed, optimized, and in your control. But after you have claimed and optimized your Google business page, which also is connected to your Google Maps listing, you are also given a Google Plus page where you can post content, links, pictures, and videos similar to a Facebook page, but more simplified. So let me tell you how I stumbled onto this simple secret strategy that I assure you most churches are not using. The reason is because most churches think their Google Plus page is a waste of time if they even realize they have a Google Plus page. So a while back I was attempting to get a Google business page to show up in local search terms and it was not showing up very well at all in Google search. And so I'd set up the page correctly, even um, according to Google support I'd set up the page correctly, but it was a new listing and was having trouble showing up when you would search for local search terms in Google related to that business in that specific city. So I got on the Google business page chat support and they said that part of the issue was that since the listing was so new, it can take a few months for a brand new Google business page listing to show up in actual Google search. And so if your church is new, you will be creating a new page and it can take longer to begin showing up. If your church has been around for a while, however, most likely you will be claiming an existing listing that Google has already created for you, um, you know, that you've had for a while, you just didn't know you had it, and it's already been in the Google business system. So getting access to your listing is what you'll be doing and then correcting the information in it and those can rank more quickly because they already exist and are already in Google search you're just making the information better and more specific but in addition to giving the listing more time to show up because it was new there were two main things that they told me to do to help get the Google page listed faster and these two things will also help you if you already have an established Google business page. So it doesn't just work for new. If you're already established, you can improve potentially your ranking by doing these two things. And so the first one we'll cover in this video, and the second one will be our next secret strategy in the next video. So the first tip that they gave me um, that is our second secret strategy is to post content relevant to your church on your Google Plus page that is connected to your Google business page. So you'll log into your Google Plus page with the same Gmail address and login information that you used when you claimed your Google business page, and then you will post content to your Google Plus page similar to how you would post to Facebook or Twitter. So when you do this, it triggers Google to have to go back and look at it because there's new information and crawl your Google business listing again, making it much more likely to get found in Google more quickly um, if your page is new and potentially raising your listing and ranking or keeping your current position if it's an existing listing. And so when you've made these improvements and made these changes, you know, Google doesn't necessarily know you've you've just made the simple changes to the listing. Um, and I, I mean, it knows, but it may not trigger it to go back and crawl it immediately. But when you start to put content on there, Google loves content. It wants to deliver content. So, um, you know, when you post content to Google, the other thing is, is that Google loves Google. And so that's why when you're using YouTube, it's a good thing because it's Google. So it's going to be a lot more likely to promote you when you are using and adding fresh content to their Google Plus system. And it also triggers them to come back and crawl it. And so posting content to your Google Plus page definitely has the ability to help and improve your online visibility to potential new church members, church visitors, and hopefully 
eventually members, because it makes Google come back to your Google listing, realize that it's about local church related search terms in your area, then potentially raise your Google listing in both Google search and Google maps. And because your church website is also connected to your listings and now trusted by Google, it also has the potential to rise in local church terms as well. I'm talking about your church website can rise in search terms as well. So you can use a tool called Hootsuite.com to schedule Facebook and Twitter posts and automatically post the same content that you're posting there to your Google Plus page, or you can just log in and post directly to it if that works better for you and you want to keep those separate. Um, the one thing that I would say when you're posting to Facebook and Twitter, you know, sometimes if it's a date specific thing, you may go back in there and delete it after you're done. So you would also want to do that on your Google Plus page if you had anything you needed to take away from that. And sometimes the Google Plus page can kind of be out of mind. So you would just want to consider that. So you may just want to post, um, you know, content that doesn't have an expiration date on Google Plus page or just post it all and don't worry about it just so that it'll keep fresh content going on there. So I would recommend, you know, just to make it simple, if you want to just auto post the same content you put on Facebook and Twitter to your Google Plus page. Um, using Hootsuite.com or something similar, IFTTT.com, some other thing that you can set up to auto post the same information. So that's the second step. Simply post content related to your church on your church Google Plus page that is connected to your Google listing. The third strategy in the next video will build on this even more and it'll be the second thing that uh, Google business chat support told me to do and it will help both Google and potential new church visitors know that real people love your church. Be looking for the next video to check it out to get more potential new visitors into your front doors.